Excuse me, dog. <clears throat> Holy moly. Good morning. Good morning. Love Cheers. you. Love Cheers. You. Good morning, everyone. Cheers. Love you guys. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday from Viva Las Vegas. So, bad thing happened to us the other day. Took the truck, pulled uh, into the Shell station, and we got robbed here in Las Vegas the other day. Called the cops. They wanted to know if I knew who did it, and I said yes. It was pump number eight. And? Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, okay. <sighs> okay. Yep, 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 yep. Get on with it. Uh, on with the show. <laughs> oh, well, um, gee, last Saturday was good. Mm-hmm. We had our... Excellent day. Saturday chat with you all, and then we watched baseball. And then... And then we got to go have dinner with our dear friend, Jay. We love spending time with her. So, um... Um, what are you going to say? I don't know. I need more coffee. I haven't had enough, apparently. No, you're not getting my jokes, either. Holy well, cow. Well, I don't think that has anything to do with it. They say that every piece of chocolate you eat shortens your life by two years. Really? I did the math. I died in 1537. I was going to say, I'd be <laughs> long dead. Long, long dead. Oh, wow, so those boxes of chocolates that we've been having? Yes. <laughs> they just keep popping up out of nowhere. Yeah, somebody's setting us up. Yeah, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Had a great dinner with Jay. Yes. It was so much fun. Yes, we did. Again, we went to the Las Vegas, Las Vegas Country, Country Club. Club. And it's beautiful. <laughs> they got this big outdoor patio. It's a cool and it place. looks over the course and it's just beautiful. Um, last Saturday night, it was uh, the weather was perfect. It was just gorgeous yeah. sitting out there. Um, and then Sunday, you know, well, we've been kind of doing this just about every day as we go take a couple walks around here trying to get some exercise. Um, some. We need more, but. You know, we count our steps. We got this app on our phone, but there was one time in the past I broke up with a girl because all she did was count. I wonder what she's up to now. Her count? Have some more coffee. <laughs> okay, that one was really... <laughs> that, I didn't have to pretend like I didn't know that one. <laughs> or didn't, I mean, I got it, but it was like... Well, yeah. you're going to get it. Well, you threw me off when you said you went with a, a girl. And I'm like, really? When was this? Yeah, I can't even we remember back that far. We started counting <laughs> steps not that long ago. <laughs> hmm, something's going on. Oh, oh um, it was really warm last weekend. And so we just kind of were staying cool, staying inside, being glad that we have 50 amp. As much as we absolutely love boondocking, when it gets hot, oh, it's sure nice to be able to have the air conditioning. We just didn't go far enough north to where the temperatures are cool, and there's really, <clears throat> the way we're going through Nevada, it's either hot or too cold. <laughs> One of the two, because there's still snow in, in central and northern Nevada. And, yeah, Reno uh, just, or Minden had snow yeah, just a couple days ago. Parts so. of that area. But, yep. uh, gosh, it's been in... 80s and 90s here it's like yeah. okay Less there's no days. in between <laughs> last couple days just been in the 70s right yeah yeah, yeah. It hasn't been too bad. Not bad um well sunday night we got to go to dinner we met up with um some friends of mine for a change actually lila and i uh, and chris we went to school together but chris and i actually grew up in the same kind of neighborhood and uh, in lemon valley and uh, so it was really fun talking about people from those days and how the valley has changed from when we grew up there as kids and talking about our high school and all that stuff and so for the first uh, pretty much the first time i think it is the it, first time that we've gotten together with my friends and talked about people that tom has no clue who they are <laughs> we always go to dinner with his friends and everything and his old radio buddies that talk about 
people from way back. I mean, a lot of people I do know that they talk about, and then but then there's some that I have oops, have no idea. I've never met them. Some of them have never even heard of them, <laughs> and um, so I'm like, oh, do, 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 do. but I mean, it's usually very interesting, and I enjoy your conversations with your friends. But this was one time when I finally got to got to have a conversation <laughs> about people he doesn't know, and I just got to sit and listen. Yep, and he got to sit and listen. Yep. <laughs> Yep. So it was really fun getting together with Lila mm -hmm. and Chris. It was great meeting them. It was. Yeah. Yep. 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 So um, then Monday we kind of hung out in the morning, and then we uh, did a trip up to Pahrump, over the hump to Pahrump. Um, we our mail service <laughs> forwarding service is there, so we went to go pick up mail, and. Um, then we were invited over to some of our viewers, actually their next exit viewers. Their next that, exit viewers, that, um, Bob and Pearl. That uh, we actually met them at the rally, didn't get to really visit with them much. The next exit boondocking rally that was in Quartzsite in January. Yeah. So um, Ken reached out to us and, mm -hmm. and they invited us over. So we went and had a wonderful dinner and a wonderful visit with Ken and Hannah. And the only reason they invited us over is because Ken, you know, he he kind of kind of met me at the rally and then he watched some of the videos and he goes, well, he's not a jack anyway. He's not a jerk. He's not a stick in the mud. Let's invite him over. And well, when he saw you at the rally, you were just kind of standing around like you do because you're Ugh. really observant. He's definitely a people watcher. So he's, I can just picture it. He's standing there going, and looking like he's not very approachable. <laughs> but then you get him, then they saw him on the video with Bob and Pearl when we went to Mexico. And then he went, okay, I need to meet this guy. We need to spend some time with him. He's pretty funny. So um, we had a wonderful visit. It was awesome. And, uh, they made some wonderful food. Hannah made this beautiful, mm salami and cheese and there are pictures of the salami and cheese she had them all in a flower like a flower it was, it was a beautiful food tray it was we've got so the pictures on our instagram account also on our tom and Lori rv life facebook page you can check them out we've got the links below so she did that all fancy and then um <clears throat> what was it that he did like a the, the pulled meat. pork he did yeah, a pulled, pulled pork, pork on a smoker Pulled pork sandwiches and coleslaw and, oh, and God, it um, was good. <laughs> you know, so everything was just all fancy and elaborate and stuff. And then a little while later, she goes in to go get dessert. Yeah. And he's like, "Man, if you thought this was great, wait till you see this dessert." So we're sitting there waiting. She takes a while <laughs> inside. She comes out with this plate of donuts. <laughs> <laughs> she had warmed them up. They were just glazed donuts, but she had warmed them up, and they did that from when they watched our video when we went over to Blythe from Quartzsite when we went to go get a new battery and I kept saying I was dying for donuts and that we needed to get some donuts. So she got us donuts for dessert. It was, it was great. And I never even thought of warming them up like that. It was really good warmed yeah, it was. up. Yeah. So they were great. We had a wonderful fun visit and um, it was so good spending time with you guys. Yeah, and their dogs Lewis and Clark yes. are adorable. <clears throat> So they were, they were fun. And, okay, I got to say this too. It was really funny because I met them only briefly at Next Exit's rally when they were hosting, um, they were having everybody sign the banner for Bob's birthday. So I went back there, met them, met the dogs and everything. And so when we went to their house, we weren't really sure who it was. And um, we get there and... <laughs> They introduced themselves, and they introduced Lewis and Clark, and I go, oh, I met you guys. <laughs> oh, I remember the dogs. I remember the dogs. <laughs> it was the same way when we camp hosted. Yeah. Later. I would remember the dogs and the dogs' name and barely remember the people, but then when I saw the dog and the person, I was like, oh, yeah, you're so-and-so's mom. <laughs> You're Charlie's mom, or you're Fido's mom, yeah. or Fido's dad. And so it's like, I always remember the dogs' names, but people not so much. But anyways, we had a good time. We had a good time. Um, on our way from our picking up our mail to Ken and Hannah's house, 
we drove by the uh, Lakeside RV, or Lakeside it's, Casino. It's the Lakeside Casino and RV Park slash Resort that is in Pahrump. We've yeah. never been to this one, never mm -hmm. looked at it. It's off the main drag. <laughs> it's like way out in a neighborhood, yeah. basically. And so Tom says, oh, I've read about this one. So we kind of just did a little drive through it. It looks pretty nice. So, um, yeah. and it's basically a pond yeah. that this little RV park is around, yeah. this little pond. But um, we always like to go and drive through and check out new and different places. Excuse me. Even even though we'd, we'd prefer to boondock, we got a few boondockers welcome hosts that are in Pahrump. And we'd rather do that than go to a park, if possible. Right. But we always... Like to look around, and see whether it's a yeah, total nay you know, or a maybe. You know, it's so. cool to drive through, just kind of eyeball everything. Yeah. Um, and then Tuesday you had your uh, yeah, did, your work meeting did that my you usually conference have. Conference call on and Tuesdays. I worked most of the day. Um, Wednesday we went to Walmart. Woohoo! Actually, we went to a different Walmart. We went to a Walmart when we first got here, and I was getting so frustrated. I went to go get prescriptions refilled, and they had two sets of windows. And nothing's labeled. Nothing's labeled. So no I'm standing signs, in this line for nothing. a half an hour to get my refills, <clears throat> and two people in front of me, somebody came and asked them, "Oh, is this the line for refills?" Or, and they said, "No, that's over there. This is for immunizations." There was no sign. It was like I was furious. So I told Tom, I said, "Forget it." <laughs> Out of here. I get a few necessities and I was out of here. Very quiet after that. <laughs> and I'm usually very patient. Granted, it was on Saturday and we shouldn't go on a Saturday. But um it was just the timing of when I needed to get my prescriptions. So, so we went to a different Walmart. We did. And had much better luck. Yeah. Boom, in and out with the prescriptions. Not got... hard not hardly any people in this one, so it was Kind yeah. of a, a different it experience. It was nice. For being in Vegas. Yeah. I mean, I'm stupid. I know we don't go on Saturday or Sunday. We have the option to go during the week at early in the morning when nobody else is there. Oh well. <laughs> that's And that's that. <laughs> Thursday! Boy, this was a busy day. <sighs> We went and had breakfast with one of your old pals with, that you uh, worked with. The best general manager I have ever worked for in radio, Mike Ginsberg. <clears throat> Met him for breakfast. Just had a great visit. Yeah, It's last so time, good to see Mike. Last time we saw him was in 16 when we were in Nebraska. Yeah. That was the last time, right? That yes, I really think it was. Yeah. Yep. You know, and uh, it's just great spending time with Mike. You know, yeah, we do relive some of the old days and stuff like that, but it's so good catching up. Yeah, with know? other things too, just yeah. family and life, and yeah. So it's always good to, to see see old friends. Um, and again, we have pictures of that on our Instagram and on our Facebook page. And we went to this snazzy, it's like a French, French pastry, pastry yeah. bakery restaurant. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Yeah, I had quiche Lorraine. Oh. And you had... I had a croissant. A croissant. Uh, with like bacon, bacon and, and egg. And, and then you, you bought something and yeah, brought the, it home. Yes. They're croissants. Oh, my gosh. They're not, you know, Pillsbury Crescent Rolls. These are <laughs> croissants. They're, and they're not, like, light and fluffy. They're dense. And they've got... We it was had delicious. got almond chocolate, and then yesterday we had like the raspberry one. It had some raspberry filling. Oh my goodness! Good choice, Mike. So good. <laughs> yes, Mike. We loved it. It was really, really good. And um, I actually got a fufu coffee when we were there. I usually yeah. don't because I'm just never sure what to get. But it was like, eh, let's give it a try. It was awesome. So that was good. And then right afterwards, we went and got my hair cut. Oh. Yeah, she got her hair Heard. all nice and trimmed chop, chop, up. And chop, chop, chop. Yay. I feel, it always feels so good. I could have done it. No. The <laughs> It'd take me less than five minutes. I could have it done Z like I that. could do it, too, like that. I don't want it like that. We should do a complete video on me cutting your hair. Be a five-minute video. Yes or no <laughs> in the comments below for the next time she needs it. No, yes. I'm not that picky about my hair. However, 
However, there are limitations. <laughs> and the last time I got it cut was by Ashley in December, so it needed it. it so you were due for a Tom cut? No, not even that. Below, let me know. We'll make it happen. <laughs> so after we got my hair cut, we went and made a stop to go visit some friends um, at their business. Some Bakersfield friends yeah. who have relocated to Nevada. They have a business here, Henderson RV. Yeah. So if you're ever in the Vegas, Henderson area, heck, even Kingman, you need some good uh, Or you're still in around the Bakersfield area, they have a shop in Tehachapi, Tehachapi. Uh, DC's RV Center. Yeah. You know? So, so we got to spend time with Don, Don and Maya, Maya and their puppies. Their puppies. They have a new puppy, a new little healer, yep. Queensland healer. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Sasha, I think, was her name. Yeah, I think so. And then, yeah. um, oh god, Doodles, I think, is the, um, they have a little, yeah. a little rat dog. Yeah. But, you know, the fancy ones everybody loves. Like Camper and Kevin's dogs. Why yeah. can't I think of what they are? Oh, Yorkies. Yorkies. Yeah, Yorkies. So, um, that was fun getting to see them. We didn't get to visit with them for very long. It was just it was, quick in and out. We yeah. bopped in with an unannounced, right. you know, and they're busy at work. So yeah. I'm glad they took a few minutes to at least chat. Yeah. and uh, Good seeing you guys. Don was really excited about showing mm -hmm. us around because it's, yeah. you know, a, a kind of new. They've been there about a year, I yeah. think. But they, uh, they got this place that's really unique. I mean, very old mm -hmm. Vegas unique type place. Henderson RV, it's on the south end of the city. It's as far south as you can go before you're out, <laughs> out of town. Out of town yeah. uh, on Las Vegas Boulevard. Yep. They even have an RV storage there and stuff, yeah. too. So. Yeah. so that was great. And we get home, and we're home for just a little while, and then we got ready to go to dinner with Jay, Jay again. again. It was pizza night. <laughs> Dave, Thursday night at the Las Vegas Country Club is pizza night. Who knew? How about that? <laughs> So we went and, and had another wonderful visit with Jay. We love you, Jay. Yes, we Always do. Always enjoy our time with you. And I think just sitting down and getting to chat with you is better than going and doing any event in town. It really is. I'd rather just spend time with friends like mm -hmm. you, Jay, and you, Mike, and Don and Maya. Yes. And... Uh, Lila and Chris and Ken Lila and Hannah. and Ken and, so, yes, everyone. So we you know, have had... I'd, we'd rather just spend time, mm -hmm. some quality time with you guys. Then to go out and do something. Yep. I'm hoping that tomorrow we might get to see Lauren, Jolene's Lauren. Oh! Um, she lives here. That's she's, right. She's a yeah, nurse, a nurse right? here. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, Lauren and my oldest daughter, Jolene, have been friends since they were three years old. That's right. I they are going to be here. 38 this year. So they have known each other all their lives. And uh, Lauren is married now with a little boy, and they live here. What? Jolene's going to be 38? Yes. God, she's old. <laughs> yeah, that makes me old, too. <laughs> Even older than that. Yes. Wait a minute. You're 38. Oh, aren't you sweet? No. That's Tom math. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, he went to school in Missouri. Oh goodness! So, um, so hopefully we'll be able to do that. And well, then that'd yesterday, be cool. <clears throat> that'd be cool. Yesterday, yesterday I got to go to lunch day. with a couple buddies that we all work together again with Mike Ginsburg uh, here in Vegas at one of the it was the big country station at the time, KWNR, and I got to spend time with Mitch Kelly and Bob Bishop, and it was so good. It was a laugh a minute. For we were there for almost two hours. And I mean, it's just a laugh a minute with these guys. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm glad that you got to go and have some. It was fun. good hanging with them. That's the first time I've seen each of them since the '90s, since '97. You believe that? Seriously, that's yeah. a laugh. That was I the did. last time I saw either one of them. Was 1997. I I can imagine. It was so good catching up, you know, and with with Facebook these days and and texting and things like That's that, insane. you keep in touch with people. Mm -hmm. But it's so good again to spend some quality time with people. It really yeah. is, and that's the really cool thing about this lifestyle. We can go whenever they're available. Right. You know, I they said, well, what do you want to do? And I said, well, let's meet up. You tell me when you're available because I'm wide open. So yeah, quality time. 
it's all about quality time. It's like Lauren was asking me what we were doing because I reached out to her and I said, what's your schedule? Because I know nursing schedule mm -hmm. and mom's being a mom and, you know, working a schedule with her husband and stuff. Um, I asked her what her schedule was and then she said that maybe on Sunday. Yeah. Um, but she says, what are you doing in Vegas? And I said, we're just here visiting friends. So that's basically and it. And you're a friend. <laughs> Visiting friends. That's what's cool about it. So, yeah. So that was kind of our week in a nutshell. We had a little bit of excitement yesterday morning here. Um, this, the helicopters oh, circling yeah. and circling <clears throat> and circling. Las Vegas RV Resort is not necessarily in the best area of town. Same with the Thousand Trails. They're just like a couple blocks away. And so you get to hear lots of sirens. And yesterday there was a helicopter kept circling and circling. So we Whoa. And we could hear them hollering <clears throat> down. Through their loudspeaker, their yeah. PA system on the helicopter. All of it wasn't really audible, but I could hear, get down. You're not going to get away. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa. And it was just like right over there. And then it went circling down that way. And it was, they were talking to somebody. So I don't know if there were two incidences together. Like maybe somebody jumped out of a car over here and then it drove the, over there. It was just kind of crazy. Bakersfield R or Bakersfield. See, I did the I same thing. I did the thing. same thing. Las Vegas RV Resort is a nice place. It's yeah. a great RV park. Yep. It just happens to be in a bad section of town. And it's somewhat And secure. not really bad. I don't want to say the word bad. It's just a sketchy, sketchy area of town yeah. compared to the rest of Las Vegas. Yeah. I mean, your friends even said, you're staying where? <laughs> couldn't, you, couldn't you find a worse place to stay? <laughs> I'm like, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> Knock on wood, we haven't had any problems here. But um, it's somewhat secure. I mean, there is no gate, but there is somebody at the front. Yeah. Somebody back where we are, nobody would get back here that's not yeah. supposed to be. Um, uh, the Thousand Trails, though, they are gated. But you go there and say, we're coming to visit our friends. Okay, come on in. I'm like, you yeah. got a gate. Don't yeah. you want to be some more secure than there? win. But, uh, but anyway. Gosh. But uh, we've been enjoying our time here. We're only here for a couple more days. Yeah. And then we uh, get on? on out. Sure. Okay. We are we are going to join up with our endeavors, Dave. Mm -hmm. And we're all going to go to Area 51. Heard that Sam and Virginia might come out and meet us. That would be too. so much fun. That would be great. <clears throat> now, with that said, it'll probably be Tuesday when we leave here. We may still be at Area 51 next weekend, which means no Saturday coffee chat. Poss yeah. Possibly. Possibly. Because... <laughs> we might be able to record it and then we drive down the road and, and, and try and upload, upload it from it. there. But we'll see. cell service is nil to sketchy in that area. So, <clears throat> Which any of you that watch Dave from yeah. our Endeavor know that. Know that yeah. that area is... He's uh, tried to do it from there and it's just it's almost impossible. Yeah, because, and when Area 51 are, is doing stuff, maneuvers, whatever you want to call it, testing, the cell service goes away. Completely. Yeah. So, anyway, just be aware of that. Yep. Week from today, we'll have to see if there is going to be one. If not, we'll have to do another special one on a different day and mess you all up mess again. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Gosh. Bear? Bear? Hey, wake up. What? What you doing? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if you think I'm a hypocrite, Bear. Say yes. Because I pee in the house. It's not fair, is it? It's not fair. <laughs> All of us can go pee in the house except for you, poor baby. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate you being part of our family and joining our journey. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. Get the bell clanged every time we put up a video. You'll get a notification that there's a new video up on Tom and Lori RV Life. Thank you for watching, everyone. Appreciate Have a you. great week. See ya. See ya.